What is there for fun to do around here? Nothing much. What do you do? Nothing much. Do you do anything in general? Sometimes. Like what? Well, once we went to like a trampoline park. You like mudding? Sometimes. You, you like you do mudding? Oh, have you seen the shirts over there? They say like, if it wasn't for mud trucks and boobs, life would suck, so. Do you believe in that philosophy? Yeah. Where do you think you'll be in 10 years from now? Here. You'll be here. 10 years from now, you'll be here in this spot looking at these ducks? Probably not the same ducks, but yeah, I'll be looking at ducks. Do you have one yourself? Uh, no, my mom won't let me get one. Why wouldn't your mom get, let you get one? Uh, she doesn't want a bird in the house. A bird in the house? Yeah. What, what's wrong with a bird in the house? Uh, she doesn't want it to poop on anything. She just doesn't like poop. Who does? I don't know, someone probably. Sure. Now, what exactly is a parakeet encounter? You can walk in and feed the birds. They eat the seed off the stick. We keep 75 parakeets here in the encounter. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, let's. Oh! Hey, oh my god! I didn't realize how kind of freaked out I am by birds until right now. Oh my god! He, here he is! Here he is! What do you think about that big guy? Oh my god! That one was close. All right, you've had enough. You've had enough. Anyone else? Any takers? All right, that's okay. Wow, they're really tugging on it. Oh my God, he's landed on it. Oh my God, it's it's so delicate. I got a bird on a stick. Oh, I don't want its talons to touch me. I don't think I'd like the feeling of that. At the beginning of my parakeet encounter, I was quite afraid, and now I feel relaxed around the birds. Calm, maybe even perhaps sensuous. Oh, I thought that was a snake. I'm in the jungle. All right, we got to leave. We got to go. We find when we go to the fairs that people really like it. A lot of people go in and just say it's a very peaceful feeling in there. Oh, We had some of the white birds, they're kind of distinctive looking, that were sitting on certain people. And when we went back to Florida in the spring, um, the same people came to the fair or the event and the same birds went back to those people. So it's almost like they, they have their own personalities and they remember people and individuals. So it's pretty amazing when you get to know them how distinct they can be. What does bird seed taste like? Have you ever had it? Well, you want to try it? Okay. Yeah, just just try it. Just try it. Just bite right in. Just oh my goodness. It's like um it's like an everything bagel. Is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. Hey, we got a news crew here. I'm gonna go talk to them. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Very good. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Max. What's yours? I'm a Hamilton. Hamilton. And this is Al. I'm Al. Yeah. Where are you from, Max? I'm from Winooski, Vermont. Winooski. Winooski, yeah, Vermont. From the islands. That's cool. Oh yeah. You got, are you a student? I uh, I just graduated. Oh, very cool. Aren't you supposed to be interviewing me? Oh, I suppose. Oh, you're really doing my job for me. <laughs> well, my name is Al Gettler, and um, I am a Vermonter, and I've been uh, really having a lot of fun for the last bunch of years doing what I do. I am a controller. All right, let's find out who we have. Hi there, what's your name? Max. I'm sorry that's wrong. You'll have to sit down and thanks for playing the game. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, that's your name. Max, where are you from? I'm from Winooski, Vermont. Winooski, Vermont, really good. And you were just telling me before, you just graduated. I did. Outstanding, and where are you headed after that? Uh, hopefully video production. And you going to college? Oh uh, yeah, I graduated college. You graduated college? Young looking guy, right? Hope he keeps the youth, right? So which college were you going to? University of Vermont. Nice, let's hear it for you, for you everybody. Oh uh, yeah, that's for my daughter. Very good, congratulations. What would you say to somebody who wants to do something weird and performative but they're not sure they want to follow a dream like that you know I think first of all what makes you happy you know that's just the bottom line and if I did this we were, we were just talking the act before mine we get paid to travel and doing the show we would do for free you know so when you really get down to it performing is in your heart it's what you love to do now I'm laughing at this I'm laughing at it too you realize what you're doing you're pointing your microphone at muddy paws and we like that yeah but the sounds still coming from here
<laughs> you fooled me. You fooled me. You fooled me. Well, that's that's the best compliment you can give a ventriloquist. Yeah. You know, first of all, you notice he keeps moving. Okay. He doesn't stop. He's listening to our conversation. He's looking at, at, at Cam. He's, he's, he's all over the place. I mean, part of that is pretending, right? I have to pretend that he's real. Because if I don't pretend he's real, he's not real, you know? And I, th I think some of the finest people in, in the world are the ones that never stop pretending and never stop playing. I think it's so important in life. I really do. Well, have you seen the shirts over there? They say, like, if it wasn't for mud trucks and boobs, life would suck. Does that look like something I would wear? Check this out. This one's pretty awesome. This is badass. Boom. Oh, my God. That's the one. The Backwoods Rick and Morty shirt. I mean, how could I not pick that up? How can I not pick that up? Hey, can we ask you guys some questions? So we're part-time, one week in a month, two weeks a year, active duties, Monday through Friday, full-time. I joined just because I wanted to serve. All right, we're here at the Lamoille County Fair. We're talking to two arm wrestling experts from the team Vermont Power. Yep. What's the feeling when you get up there, and I don't know if you saw my match, but like it was me versus a guy who could clearly rip me in half. When you're up there and you gotta channel that power, what emotions, thoughts, experiences, what do you use to really give it that extra oomph? All the training and hours you put into it and all the hard work, just think of that and try not to waste the opportunity. Winner, Donald Santor. say the economy, inflation, and the price of gas and food. On housing, education, equity, recovery, and health care. I would say that they're similar to what uh, what's important in this county. Uh, it is the economy, uh, price of gasoline, you go to the supermarket, what happened to my bagels? They're not, they're not here this week. Housing is everywhere. That's a nationwide crisis, right? It's all of the Supreme Court overtures. Our nation has come so far, and it is 2022, and we are taking giant leaps back not in the right direction. We want to progress and move forward. We don't want to go backwards. Just people with closed mindsets. Yep. Many people in America don't see well, what's the future here? How are things going to change? How is it going to get better? And I'm not sure a lot of people see an avenue for improvement. Oh, my biggest fear is China. Yeah. They're stealing our job. They're stealing our technology. Everything. Uh, we buy our medicine from them. We buy everything from China. Why? And do we trust China? Do you trust China? Me personally? <laughs> we need to say goodbye to China. Look at Nancy Pelosi. She, her husband just went and bought $500 million worth of stock, uh, technology stock over in, in, in uh, Italy. Have you guys seen Rick and Morty? Ever seen Rick and Morty? No, I can't say that. Never seen Rick and Morty? What is that? Yeah, Rick and Morty? Well, now we're going to, after you've left, we're going to look it up because we've got to, we need to educate ourselves. So, yes, sure, no, take a look. I think you'll really like it. Yeah. I was always a person who's like, I don't do politics. I don't get involved with politics. That's not my thing. Even if we don't want to participate, 
in politics. We are by existing and being citizens. What do you guys think about Dick Cheney? Any, any opinions, any thoughts on Dick Cheney? Uh, he served his nation in a number of capacities, um, and he served it honorably. Um, he retired and, you know, he had some health issues and this type of thing. So I would say based on his history, he's done some great things for the country. Um, and now he is retired and, you know, enjoying retirement and doing other things and as uh, many seniors should do. I'm a former state representative and a former state senator.